Hey everybody, I'm Levi Wright, the Assistant Director of Prospective Student Services, and we're so glad that you're joining us today as we take another live virtual tour of one of our technical programs here at OSU Institute of Technology. And before we get started, I just want to go ahead and remind you all that if you have any questions as we go through this tour, please put those in the comments because we want to make sure that you not only get all the information that we can think of today, but any information that you can think of that you want or need. So we want to make sure to answer those questions for you while we're live. Even if you're watching this later on and we're no longer live, you can still put those questions in the comments and we will get those answered. If you have any friends or family or know of anyone that you think would benefit from seeing this video, please share it with them so that they're able to enjoy it as well. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to our instructor and let him introduce himself and the program. Thank you. Like he said, my name is Justin Sifford. I'm the faculty of teacher for engineering graphic design technology. I've been here for about three semesters now. Um, had one class so far graduated with me. A um, little bit about myself. I grew up in a small town Morris, Oklahoma, just a few miles away from the school. Then after I graduated in 2009, I went to uh, Weatherford, Oklahoma with the Bulldogs. Then I decided to come back, wanted to do, uh, learn how to do draft, draw buildings, draw anything with mechanical. And so I decided to come do OSU IT. So some of the jobs I've had before that, right when I uh, graduated from here, I went on to internship, which by the way, we'll get into it. It's all paid internships. I went to Wallace Engineering, which was a piping, uh, oil and gas piping company. Um, then after that, I decided I want to try something a little bit different. So I went to American Electric Power, which is PSO for Oklahoma. And after I decided that, then I went to Wilbros, which was my main job for a few, about three years. Um, then I got tired of that for a while. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try something new. I went to RipCrib, just being server. Cause I kind of, things got a little hectic. So I was like, you know what, why not try something new? But I decided to come back to the drafting and went to LW Survey, which was a survey company at the time and still is, it's oil and gas survey work. Then I got an offer for OSU IT. So now I've been for three semesters now teaching as a teacher here. What is engineering graphic design? That's what everyone says. They thought, well, it's design work. It's working, gaming, um, doing videos, movies. Yes and no. Right now, my group area is just to design houses, design buildings, um, mechanical, so gears, nuts, screws, bolts, anything you can think of, we can build it. My philosophy is if you think it, you can draw it, you can build it. Which, this program, we have 3D printing. If you don't know what 3D printing is, it's a cool engineering mechanism that you can build something as simple as a mouse on a program like SolidWorks, which I'll get into in a second. And we can actually build that and, and draw it and have it actually 3D printing where you can actually use it most of the time with wiring and stuff like that. So the best way I tell students, think of when you were a kid, you played Legos, everyone's done it. The young still do it, the old still do it, my age still do it, that's what we play. It's something cool, but it's a basic of what we do here. When you get a little bit older, when you're a teenager, we played Minecraft. Of course, Minecraft is just a little bit more fancier Legos, but we grow up, we learn new stuff. Well, when you go to college here, you learn what this slide is, it's a um, Revit. It's where you actually can build a house or office or even the school into something you can see on computer. And eventually, if you go to a job that has this, you can build it yourself. So just kind of some slides I'm going to go through. It's just different pictures. This program here is AutoCAD. It's the first semester you learn the basic knowledge of how to use AutoCAD. AutoCAD is a two-dimensional um, co computer program that's anything from a Pikachu to Iron Man, uh, Batman, and just some simple stuff like a wrench or 
just different parts. You can, it's a 2D base image. When you kind of move on a little bit, you'll learn uh, Civil 3D, which is the third semester. You'll learn topographs, um, how to survey land to where you want to build a house or some type of project onto a land. Um, another class, we, it's in the second semester, it's called CADWorks. CADWorks is a pipeline company program that you can take a 3D pipe, make it into 2D, and give a line, you can do ISO, which is a side view angled to show how a pipe flows, how far it goes down to the ground, and how far it goes up above ground. One of my favorite ones is Revit. Um, when I came to school here, I, what my big thing I wanted to build, and I was like, what do I want to build? And my biggest turn point was houses. I am fascinated with seeing something, if you notice one of the slides is a, like an aerial view. You see it drawn 2D, you see a floor plan, which we'll go in a little bit to show you uh, a sheet of showing just a floor plan. But when we draw that, it's drawing like you see, I don't know if that can show that, but show a 3D view and that's what you're drawing at the same time. So it's not just focusing on 2D, you're drawing in 3D to understand how thick the house, the walls are, how tall, etc. One program that a lot of people are interested in is SolidWorks. What is SolidWorks, you say? SOLIDWORKS is a 3D program that you start off drawing a 2D image and what we call extruding, so you're just pushing out the part to make it into a, a 3D object. What's cool about this stuff is you can mold that part. So anywhere from a screw to a car to a simple just square box, anything your mind can imagine, that's what this program's about. You say you can't draw, I don't know how, I'm not artistic, that's okay. Because we put you to the limits of what you can do in this program. That's why the 3D is so important with this program because we can draw it in 3D, build it, imprint it in 3D so you can actually see it, hold it, fill it. So, kind of talk about the classes that we have, we've talked about a little bit. So there's five semesters in this class, in this program. The first semester, you're gonna learn architectural modeling, which is learning how to build commercial buildings. And the next one is intro to drafting, design and drafting, which you just kind of learn the program of AutoCAD. Then you have SOLIDWORKS, is again, kind of learning the basics of SOLIDWORKS, how it uses, how it works, and just kind of get the feel of what everything goes on. Second semester, you'll learn technical drawing, get it more in depth of what drawing is all about. You got applied, so you're going to take everything you've learned in the first semester and apply it to AutoCAD to make more 3D images. Architectural design is, yes, there's two architectural design, I understand, but one deals with commercial, another one actually deals with residential buildings. So if, uh, if you want to build a house in a neighborhood, that's a program to go into, or the class. Last one in this semester is pipe drafting. Drafting, that's where you'll learn how to draft pipe and use CAD works. Third semester is mechanical design, which is what we're in right now, is you'll learn how to understand what we call CAM, which is a automated system, automated system to actually make a part for you for mechanical uh, programs. Next one is civil drafting, which we kind of talked about to learn how to draw land surveys, topographs, um, alignments, to kind of figure out where a house should go. Building structures, we take architectural modeling, architectural design, and building structures is the three programs you need to build an office, a house, what, what not, whatever you can think of, because building structures learn the, the skeleton of the building. So anywhere from beams, columns, if when we'll walk around, but there's a beam here, that is part of the structural. 
you will learn the inside knowledge of how to build a house or office. The fourth semester is going to be pretty simple. You learn there's three programs. One of them is in actually I teach, which is capstone. And we take all of our stuff that we learned all three semesters and put it to one class. Um, for example, which again, we'll kind of walk through is a chair. I had one semester, they put in AutoCAD, they learned how to design the chair. They mold it into SolidWorks. So we use AutoCAD, we turn in SolidWorks to actually show it. Then we 3D print some parts. I had a student who did woodworking, so he was able to cut the parts and we turned into an actual working chair. Uh, statics is just kind of learning stuff that's not in motion. Um, how much load something can withstand, how much weight you can put on a chair or a, a table. Uh, employment exploration, we teach you here how to get a job. We just don't teach you go, hey, okay, you finished school, go get yourself a job. We actually teach you how to get a job correctly. What to say, what not to say, how to write your resume, cover letter, stuff like that. The last semester is internship. This program, all internships are paid. Um, I have one question talk about, well, how many, uh, how many students come from this program to actually graduate and to have a job? 90% actually graduate here and get a job. And the reason why there's 10, the 10% is kind of off is because we can't control what real world says. So if they say, well, we're not hiring, that's not on our students. That's on the job field out in the real world. The types of jobs, since we've got into that, is after internship, there's mechanical. Mechanical you'll learn with SolidWorks. There's other programs out there that we just, that we're working on teaching. That pays about 40, 40K to 60K a year. Sorry, that's 40 to 60K a year. You got another one called aeronautical which is airplanes that gets paid between 45 to 78 K a year. Uh, marine, which you learn how to draw boats, stuff that more in water base, 32 to 50 K a year. Piping, which a lot of people will try to go into because it is one of the highest paying jobs, which is 31 to 186 K a year. Architectural, which is, of course, and I know I've been bragging about architectural because it's my one of my favorite programs. That's 26 to 70 K a year. And civil, which is 32 to 59 K a year. Now, how many jobs out there? Over 3,000 jobs, we actually put out students and they have the opportunity to find that many jobs for their for the rest of their life. A lot of people don't stay at their jobs, that's fine. There's more jobs out there. There's always jobs for this program. And that's, oh, um, if we come over here, just kind of some knowledge. Uh, one of my, like I was saying, Legos, we, I show them how Legos are worked, how they're built, how they're, made and processed so one of my classes we're actually working on a lego man we're going to design it build it and we're working on building a lego pistol pete it's in the process it's not fully done yet but it's a thought process and hopefully within the next year year and a half we can actually get it built so people can actually come to the school and see pistol pete as a lego version um, if you over here, there's a couple of pieces of uh, building structurals. Just kind of show show the students how structural is built, what bolts to use, what um, beams to kind of use. Um, one of my one of the students, which if I don't break it, is a Rubik's cube. They actually took from SolidWorks, a simple piece like that, and was able to put something together like this. That's one of my favorites that they did. If you're, if you're a big fan of Star Wars, 
people who've done Star Wars. And there's just a couple of simple stuff, metal pieces that we can do in the machinery area. Um, I, which is not done yet, but I was working on the Eiffel Tower. And there's a couple other pieces um, over here. Just kind of show you some drawings that students have done in the past um, for structural, showing how the beams are, how the beams are placed. And there's a drawing for a house that a student has done in the, what we call ISO view of that same house. Excellent. Well, thank you. Well, we do have several questions. Um, one is for the programs like SolidWorks and AutoCAD and those, do students have to pay extra for those programs? No, and that's what's really cool about this program too is all programs that we can come out here are free for students. SolidWorks is free for students. AutoCAD are what we call Autodesk, which is AutoCAD, Revit. It's all free for students to, to use and to put on their own computer. Awesome. Another one that came in says, do you need to have natural spatial recognition skills to be successful in this program? Absolutely not. I mean, the sky's the limit to this. You can come in not having any knowledge base, and that's what the first semester is all about, is to teach you how to do the program, how to use it. So coming in, you might not have any knowledge skills. You might have a small, you might have a big one, but we'll always teach you something you do not know how to do. Excellent. Um, what about a student coming from a career tech that already had an AutoCAD class? Can he get prior learning credit for that course? Yes, so we, we're working with a couple of tech schools like we have here. Um, if you already have the program, we put you through a test that we're working on to see, make sure you understand the knowledge before passing on to the next uh, program. So like you, like you said, Architectural, Architectural Mullen is a a, red, a commercial base. So if you know how to do that, you can do it, pass the test. We'll give you that full credit for it and move on to the next class. Excellent. Now what about opportunities for women in this, this field and this program? Right now we're, we're kind of small with the women's in the field for this program, but the more that we can get into, we like to be a, what is it, um, divert, divert, diverse. Thank you. Um, because we believe that not just men can do this job, women can do it too. And sometimes women can get paid just a little bit more than a man would just because it's a field, I won't say strictly for men, but men kind of try to, I don't know what to say. Um, but yes, to answer your question, yes. I mean, women is, we would love to have more women in, this, in the program to, to go out to. Excellent. We had one that just popped up. Actually, we have a couple. Do you have any scholarships or financial assistance available? Most of the scholarships from now go through the, the school themselves. Um, I am actually working in progress to talk with, we have a meeting twice a year with what we had called the advisory board. And we're working on right now to get scholarships, to get uh, help A to go through this program. So not yet, but we are working on it. Excellent. And then we had one just pop up. How long is the program? The program is five semesters, so a year, about a year and a half. Uh, the school is a tri-semester, so you'll go fall, spring, summer, fall, spring. Um, but you can take as long as you want. If you want to take small classes at a time, you're welcome to. Uh, if you want to try to do it all at once, so your minimum is about three and a half years. Or sorry, wow, three and a half, a year and a half. Excellent. What's one final thing that you would say to a student maybe considering this program here at OSUIT? Sky's the limit. If, like I said earlier, if you can, if you can think it, you can draw it, you can build it, you can print it. And that's, I, I, don't, I don't have any glass ceilings in this program. It's because if you put someone in glass ceiling, you can't achieve their full potential. So no glass ceilings and sky's the limit for this class, for this program. Excellent. Well, thank you all so much for joining. Thank you so much for your time and sharing this information. Make sure that you all are following the Friends of Pete on these platforms of social media so that you're able to keep up with these videos as we go. Again, if you have any questions moving forward, please go ahead and leave those in the comments and we will keep an eye on that and get those answered. Otherwise, watch for videos in the future and make sure you're staying safe and go Pokes.